Well, as Punjab gets ready to vote on the 20th of the month, NDTV has been traversing the length and breadth of the state to find out what matters the most to voters. We went to a high school in Patiala to find out how is the state faring as far as education is concerned and what do all stakeholders think. Hello and welcome to a special coverage of the Punjab elections. I'm Anjali Istwal and we are in Patiala. And this is the bastion of Captain Amrinder Singh. The man whose family has lineage here going back th 300 years. But the question is, is the new entrant, Aam Aadmi Party, ready to take on the challenge? We have with us a lot of guests over here. We are in a school. So, of course, the conversation will be focused on education. But we will also be talking about the health issues that uh, the Aam Aadmi Party has been raising and the common man also talks about it. So, let's first introduce you to some of the important guests over here. We have Amit Bhava Saini, he's the spokesperson for Punjab Pradesh Congress Committee. We also have with us Principal J.P. Singh from Aam Aadmi Party. Also joining us is Simran Singh Garewal, he is the Vice President of Youth Akali Dal in Patiala Urban. Well, let's begin this conversation. But before we begin this conversation, let's first take the view of a youth of this city. Someone who is now eligible to vote and for the first time they are going to vote. So I'd like to know your name and also what voting means to you, what uh, democracy means to you as a youth. Uh, my name is Asmi and I feel democracy means that we have the right to vote for the people we think that they are capable to you know like uh, bring development for our uh, country have you given it a thought as to who you want to vote for ever like who, who's your person like I'm still confused because the elderly are also confused they are like uh, not able to decide which party is you know like uh, capable to bring the maximum development right. uh, and uh, I don't uh, personally feel that uh, like they should rise above all this petty uh, politics and uh, okay what you call petty politics is actually the bread and butter of politicians <laughs> it is not that petty it it actually has some very important issues in the center as we were telling you education and health as well let's first start with education since we are in our school uh, the accusation that Aam Aadmi party keeps throwing at congress is that you have done nothing as far as education is concerned and look at uh, Delhi and look at Punjab. Anjali, it is very easy to allege, but the data cannot be denied. The data speaks that Punjab in the last four years has been raised from 16th to first position as per the government indices. This is not what the Congress party says, this is the union government, the Ministry of HRD data says the Punjab has been raised from 16th to first position in, in education. Second thing, be it education, be it health, be it farm issue, any other issue except law and order in Punjab cannot be solved without enhancing, without generating the state revenue. Punjab is a deficit state. We are in a, in a huge debt. So we need to generate more revenue for the state. That's the solution. It's very easy to allege. As far as Aam Aadmi Party is concerned, it is see, very easy, but the, the viewers must know it is the same Aam Aadmi Party which is in power in Delhi and Delhi is a surplus state. The GDP of Delhi is four times more than that of Punjab. They have not been able to deliver anything in Delhi, whatever they claim to deliver here in Punjab. If you talk about pollution, it is the same Aadmi party which has spent 1.67 crores per month on advertisement on the uh, Arvind Kejriwal in Delhi okay. and they spent 34 lakhs on pollution. So, which is, that indicates the sensitivity of the government towards the real time issues. Okay, you, you feel it's more of talk Empty words, marketing, marketing, marketing than yeah. real work. This is the accusation that your opposition parties which oppose you, they always have that. They say you only show ads, you only put your faces on big holdings and you just make tall claims. Sir, this is true. Madam, how are you saying Punjab is a deficit state. In the past five years, when the government of 2015 was built, their budget was 29,000 crore. पांच साल के बाद वही जरा जो बजट है वो 70,000 करोड़ पे कैसे आ गया दिल्ली वहाँ दिल्ली भारत की एक ऐसी स्टेट है जिसका बजट प्रॉफिट वाला है इन लोगों का एक तो बजट माइनस वाला होता है तीसरा दूसरा तीन लाख करोड़ पे आप पंजाब वासियों हम पर कर्जा है 
ये कैसे इकोनॉमिक्स की बात कर रहे हैं पर अगर इतना कर्जा है इफ द स्टेट इज गोइंग टू बी इन सच डेट हाउ आर यू गोइंग टू रियलाइज ऑल दो प्रोमिस दैट यू आर मेकिंग यू आर मेकिंग वेरी वेरी बिग प्रोमिस यू आर राइट मैडम यू आर वेरी राइट जो इन्होंने माफिया राज क्रिएट कर रखा है हम खत्म करेंगे हमारा जो इन्होंने ये शराब के पैसा जो जितना भी है ठेकों का शराब के ठेकेदारों के पेट में जा रहा है ये जो रेते का खनन हो रहा है बजरी का खनन हो रहा है वो इनके ठेकेदारों के पेट में जा रहा है वो सारा गवर्नमेंट खजाने में ट्रेजरी में आएगा गवर्नमेंट एक्स के पास होगा सो यू आर सेंग यू विल टैकल करप्शन एंड हाउ यू गो इनक्रीज द प्रोफिटेबिलिटी ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट विच इज somehow uh, not very uh, logical to me because tackling corruption okay let's ask uh, the akali dal side also about this accusation dono taraf se ye padta hai ki uh, wo kaam kar rahe hain wo marketing kar rahe hain lekin sawal ye uthta hai ki akali dal kya kar rahe hain what are you doing and what have you been doing when you've been in power have you done anything for education when there was a kali government from the previous government like you can say that the biggest power plant green power plant you can say that is was set up by prakash singh badal that is in bias you can see that the rooftop the uh, like solar system plant the what biggest, about education i am telling you education meritorious school you see the meritorious schools they are one of the best schools in northern india you can see that you can go and you can see meritorious schools they have hostels they have top class teachers they have top class results they have got top class uh, sports facilities top class building top class ground any private you match any private school with the meritorious school you will know about that and know about what prakash singh government has done and the other thing they like you can say that the uh, the jo vapari hote hain unka jo 1 crore ke niche jinka wo, प्रॉफिट है वो टैक्स फ्री थे दी साइकिल दैट वर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड बाई प्रकाश सिंह बादल दी एजुकेशन सिस्टम दी गर्ल दी गर्ल एम्पावरमेंट दी लाइक जो गर्ल चाइल्ड है उनको पावर कर उनको फ्री स्टडी प्रकाश सिंह बादल ने दिया आप मानते हैं बहुत काम किया अकाली दल की सरकार ओके ओके आई एम कमिंग टू यू आई एम कमिंग टू यू यस अगर इतना बढ़िया सिस्टम ये जो कह रहे हैं एजुकेशन का था तो यहाँ के बच्चे बाहर के अब्रॉड में क्यों जाते हैं अगर यहाँ कुछ नहीं मिलता तो तभी बाहर जा रहे हैं पंजाब में सबसे ज्यादा बच्चे बाहर जा रहे हैं पंजाब में अगर शिक्षा बढ़िया होती तो यहाँ यहाँ तो ना तो यहाँ तो कोई बिजनेस है ना यहाँ कोई इंडस्ट्री लगती है जब इंडस्ट्री लगाते तो उसमें कमीशन मांगा जाता है यहाँ तो कुछ है ही नहीं वन कमिंग योर वे वेन कैप्टन अमरिंदर सिंह वॉज हेडिंग द गवर्नमेंट वॉज दैट यू दिस नो डिफरेंस बिटवीन यू एंड अकाली यू आर इन कहूट एंड एवरीबडी इज हैपी वेन एवरीबडी इज कर See, corruption is something which is not, which cannot be controlled by one single man. We need, we need an institutional mechanism to uproot the corruption, and it starts from head of the state. It's like a staircase. Whereas the Aam Aadmi Party uh, leader was saying that in Delhi we have done this, we have done that, we'll generate more revenue from liquor. I very humbly question him and his party in Delhi. Arvind Kejriwal has privatized all the liquor vents to Pontichatta's person. Okay. The the Punj another question. Punjab roadways buses. They they allowed Delhi government has allowed Badal's buses to pass through Delhi and reach the international airport. They did not allow the Punjab government buses. When the Punjab State Transport Minister Raja uh, Raja Wading went to the Chief Minister, he sat uh, in front of his house for a dharna. Then they came. Then they came forward. to hear it out what when they have not delivered when they, where they are in par how they can how people of punjab can expect them to deliver here in punjab where they okay. are nowhere stand okay lack of experience is also one thing that uh, uh, you say lack of intention also i would really request people over there to be a little uh, I, i will i will ask people who are sitting here who are from the education sector there are teachers here there is a gentleman who runs a school here uh, uh, let me take their opinion as well what they think मैम आपका क्या कहना है वॉट डू यू थिंक द एजुकेशन सिस्टम इन पंजाब और द काइंड ऑफ एजुकेशन दैट इज बींग गिवन आई यू हैप्पी विद इट वुड यू सेंड योर चिल्ड्रेन टू गवर्नमेंट स्कूल नो मैम आई वुड ऑल्सो नॉट सेंड माई चिल्ड्रेन टू गवर्नमेंट स्कूल बिकॉज इफ आई सी द टीचर एंड द स्टाफ ओवर देयर दे आर नॉट स्किल्ड दे आर नॉट एबल टू कम्युनिकेट इवन so how would my kids will learn from देयर इवन इन प्राइवेट स्कूल दे वेन दे टेक द स्टाफ Uh, like appoint the staff 
in the private school they just uh, give the opportunity to the skilled ones only okay. so i think that so you uh, mean the quality of education yes, quality. is not up to the mark so what is your opinion about this madam regarding you are running a school yeah ma'am we are running a school from the last 6 years to madam aise hai jo inka comparison kare government school aur private school ke sath to wohi lot of there is a lot of difference in punjab अभी इनमें काफी डिफरेंस है वहां पर उनकी बिल्डिंग इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर तो उनका इंक्रीज हो चुका काफी बढ़िया हो गया अभी स्मार्ट स्कूल बनाए हैं काफी अच्छा है पर वही है ओवरऑल डेवलपमेंट ऑफ दी चाइल्ड तो वो जो हमारा प्राइवेट सेक्टर ही दे रहा है प्राइवेट स्कूल ही दे रहे हैं वही है जनरली यूजली दैड स्टोरी ऑफ मोस्ट ऑफ आर स्टेट दैट दी एजुकेशन infrastructure of the government that is provided by the government is insufficient and it is supplemented by the private sector but it's really sad that uh, our governments are not able to build it up we're going to take a very short break now but before we go into the break let's just see what these talented students of this school have got for us <laughs> 